So now we're going to look at the second question in the 2017 exam, the midterm exam, exam one. And in this question, we're asked about the bandwidth efficiency plane. So what is the bandwidth efficiency plane? Well, that's a plot where we have uh, Shannon's limit plotted here. So this is a plot where in the x-axis we have the EB over N0, the signal-to-noise ratio in dB. And then in the y-axis we have the um, bandwidth uh, efficiency. So this is um, R over W. And the units of R over W are bits per second per hertz. Bit per seconds per hertz. And you can see that the scale is uh, logarithmic again. Let's get this out of the way. And that we go, here's one at this axis. That's, uh, we're just using exactly the bandwidth that we need. And then as we go up higher, we're putting more and more bits per second in the same spectrum. As we go down lower, of course, it's getting very spectrally inefficient uh, because uh, it's becoming fractional. So this is the bandwidth efficiency plane. And in the question for the exam, specifically they asked to find coordinates in this bandwidth efficiency plane for uh, 16 quam, square 16 quam, and for coherent 8 FSK, and specifically at probability of error equal 10 to the minus 6. So what I did when I read this question is I go to the sheet of the study sheet for the exam and I tried to find some equations that would help me to answer this, equa the, this question. So here are the uh, equations I uh, took extracted from that sheet. First of all, there's a question about a coherent FSK. So I looked into coherent FSK and I'm going to need to plot here spectral efficiency. So I looked at spectral efficiency and got the equation. It's 2 log 2m divided by m plus 1 for coherent FSK. And I'm going to have to do something with EB over N0. We'll talk more about this. But for that, for sure, I need to know uh, what the probability of error or the uh, power efficiency is for this um, modulation format. So I look on my cheat sheet again, and I get that the probability of error is like m minus 1 times a q function of log 2m, the square root of EB over N0. I do the same thing for square quam. Square quam, they have a nice, neat equation there. Uh, of course, first of all, the efficiency for, spectral efficiency for quam just is exactly the same as spectral efficiency for PSK, and that is given by log 2m. Now, the probability of error is given by 2 times 1 minus 1 over the square root of m. And the q function, now I have the square root of 3 log 2m divided by m minus 1, and that is multiplying the square root of e by eb over n0. So again, these equations are, you know, produced, uh, available, that you can consult with. Now, when we plot on the bandwidth efficiency plane, you know, we're looking for coordinates. So the coordinates are, um, in the x direction, eb over n0 to reach, and in this case, he specified 10 to the minus 6 ber, uh, symbol error rate, sorry, ser. And the second coordinate is going to be the spectral efficiency. So the second coordinate is the easiest part of this equation. So I can calculate the spectral efficiency for FSK, 8 FSK, and that will be 2 log 2 of 8 divided by 8 plus 1. So uh, 2 times 3 divided by 9, it's 2 thirds. And for 16 quam, again, this is the easy part of the question. And the spectral efficiency would just be log 2m, log 216, and we're looking at 4. So right away, we notice something. And that is that this 0. 0.667 is smaller than 1, and the 4 is larger than 1. So we can see that the QPSK, uh, the, excuse me, the quam, uh, modulation is coming up in this part of the plane, and that the uh, FSK with 0.67 is going to be down in this region. And remember, there's two regions 
grow, uh, uh, more or less to in, uh, important regions in this. And this would be called the uh, region for power limited systems because they're not very good at spectrum, but they are very good for low um, EB over N0. And this would be the region for band limited systems where you would find a modulation format for band limited systems um, because they're very spectrally efficient. So we're up here at the high spectral efficiency, but I'm over at high EBM over N0. So that's just a little background. Remember, there's these kind of two regions. That's what the bandwidth efficiency plane is useful for. Now, to get back to the question for this uh, exam, what we have to find out is what is the probability specifically at 10 to the minus 16? So, you know, maybe you have access to MATLAB and you can pull out BERT tools and have it plot it for you. Or, you know, maybe all that you have available to you is a uh, good accuracy QPSK. So I'm going to assume that you have uh, a plot of QPSK and that you look it up and that you say that QPSK um, needs, so for 10 to the minus 6, it looks like it's something like 10.8 to achieve 10 to the minus 6 symbol error rate, PE. So how can I use that? So this I know, and I have these equations. So what we can do is we, we often use the lost with respect to QPSK as a way of doing an easy calculation. So that's what we're going to do uh, in this case. And in fact, uh, we have a nice equation that says, if I look at d min, um, if I take d min, and I take the square root of, let's say, square root of x times square root of 2, uh, that this x gives me the loss with respect to QPSK. So if I wanted that loss in dB, it would be uh, minus 10 log 10 of what I call this x. Um, and the idea is, let me see if I can uh, pull it up on the cheat sheet, is uh, that, that we, we would use this in order to calculate uh, the loss. So in particular for um, the, let's start with the, the, the QAM modulation. So we have here the uh, square root of 3 log 2m divided by m minus 1, and this would be the x factor. Um, so this is, let me just get the notes up, I'm, I'm, I don't, don't want to get this wrong. Right. exactly right. So for um, Q, uh, for QAM, 16 QAM, the D min is just equal to uh, the square root of 6 log 2 M over M minus 1. And if uh, we see we take out the 2, uh, this becomes the factor x. Yeah, I guess one way of looking at it, it is, you know, what sort of multiplying eb over n0. So that, that's a good way to look at it. So let's take uh, this particular case. So we take um, these values and we have um, x equal to 3 log 2 of 16 divided by 16 minus 1. So we have 3 times 4 divided by 15, or um, 4 divided by 5.8. Okay, so this is what uh, the loss is of 16 QAM compared to QPSK. So if I put that in dB, because dB is what I have here, I'm going to say um, the loss is equal to minus 10 log 10 of 0 
and I'll use a calculator and that will come up to be uh, 3.98 dB. So what do I do with this? Well, it's a loss. So that means if I only need 10.8 dB to get EB over, uh, to get 10 to the minus 6 for QPSK, I'm going to need an extra 4 dB in order to get it with QAM. So that means that 16 QAM needs uh, 10.8 plus 4 or 14.8 dB to reach 10 to the minus 6. So now I have the second coordinate. So the coordinate for 16 QAM ends up to be 14.8 dB, comma, 4 bits per second per hertz. So that's the answer to the first part, and that's where I would plot it on the bandwidth efficiency plane. Now, the next thing I want to do is do the same calculation for FSK. And so for FSK, I look here. And okay, let's start that again. So for 8 FSK, we're going to try and find the second coordinate again. And I noticed uh, that I made an error here, and this should indeed be the square root of uh, log 2m. So I want to do something similar. I want to find the loss. And for the loss, you know, I need to have you know, a factor of 2 in my EB over at 0, so I'm going to put the factor 2 there, and then I'm going to divide this one by 2 there. Oh boy, let's not get confused, that's a log 2m there. So now I can identify that for the FSK, 8 FSK, if I'm looking for that um, x, it would be uh, log 2 of 8, where m is equal to 8, and I have to divide by 2 here. And, of course, that gives me 3 halves. And now it's time for me to cal calculate the loss. So again, the loss would be minus uh, log 2 of 3 halves. And now I want to draw your attention to something. Uh, if I put this into my calculator, I'm going to come up with something that says minus 1.76 dB. And it's negative. It's a negative loss, which means it's really a gain. And this makes sense. Why does this make sense? Because 0.8, it's smaller than 1, and so the logarithm is going to be negative. It's going to cancel this negative, and I'm going to get a real loss. Here, my x is greater than 1. It's 3 halves, which means that the logarithm is going to be positive, and I'm going to keep this negative sign. And that is why I'm able to achieve uh, 10 to the minus 6 performance at something lower EB over N0 because I require less EB over N0 than I would have for the QPSK case. So in particular, I would need 10.8 dB for QPSK, but because I'm using an orthogonal modulation format, which is extremely power efficient, uh, I'm actually going to be able to do that with less. Um, I'm going to take 10.8 and I'm going to subtract from that 1.76, so that gives me about 9 dB. So I'm only going to need 9 dB in order to achieve 10 to the minus 6 signal to noise ratio. So if I look for 8 FSK, what are the coordinates? So 8 FSK, my coordinates would be 9 dB and uh, the spectral efficiency is um, 0 0.667. 0 0.667 um, bits per second per hertz. So if I were going to plot them over here now, they would fall in these different regions of the plane. So I would take my uh, 16 QAM, and for 16 QAM, I would look at something like 15 dB, and I would get something like 4, and this would be my 16 QAM point. And for my um, 8 FSK, I would only need something like 9 dB, much less uh, EB over at zero, and uh, of course my spectral efficiency would be down here. So if I were going to point, plot a point for 8 FSK, they would fall in these uh, different regions.